Doom had a strained relationship with Reed Richards, even back then. His colleague expressed interest in one of Victor's projects, a device designed to allow its user to speak to the dead. While Reed's friend, Ben Grimm, scoffed at this idea, Reed saw the value in it and deduced Victor's project was an effort for the young man to speak to his dead mother. While Victor was offended at this, saying Reed had no idea what he was talking about, Reed insisted he was not interested in a fight. All he ever wanted to do was help. In the present day, Dr. Doom flies to his next target, while the villain wizard contacts Moda. After what happened to Diablo and the Mad Thinker, Wizard is worried that Doom is hunting down members of their old group, Intelligentsia. And though Modok is skeptical of this idea, he suddenly realizes Wizard is right. So, Modok's gonna go ahead and let Wizard handle this one on his own. The furious Wizard attacks, and Doom notes the villain has improved his gloves' technologies. It's not enough, but Wizard was only using them as a distraction. And just like that, today became the best day ever for Wizard. While careening into the air, Doom remarks that Wizard managed to build anti-gravity technology immune to basic magic. He's gonna have to ask how the villain did that. Ejecting his boots, Doom nearly crashes into the ground. The whole stunt starts to get a lot of people's attention, but Doom and Wizard resume their battle just the same. Suddenly, Watching all of this, Cynthia and Reed remark that something strange just happened. Victor just got distracted by something. Doom never gets distracted. Worried, Cynthia wants to talk to her son again, but Reed reminds her about their last encounter and points out it's likely to end the same way as it did the first time. On the ground, Doom is approached by the new head of S.H.I.E.L.D., Sharon Carter. Maria Hill is no longer with the organization, so any deal Doom may have had with her is null and void. Victor Von Doom is under arrest. Iron Man chastises Sharon, pointing out that he doesn't respond well to aggression, and more importantly, he's too powerful to be contained. As his armor reactivates, Doom decides to let Carter think on the subtext of this encounter. If she doesn't smarten up, next time Victor's just gonna end up talking to yet another frail woman who's in over her head, and refuses to admit it. In Chicago, Riri Williams hears news of the encounter with Doom and tells her mother she has to go out. She has to get something. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden and this is my recap and review of Infamous Iron Man number 6. This series has gotten so awesome. The last couple of issues have been really impressive, and issue 6 is no different. This issue is a little more dialogue heavy than last time, however that dialogue was great, and even then, this was an action heavy comic that really had a lot of fun with the fight between Doom and Wizard. Lots of interesting plot points were raised for the series going forward, while there were some great and genuinely hilarious moments. I really like the flashback at the beginning of this comic, Doom just appearing behind Wizard, and best of all, the verbal lashing Doom gives to Sharon Carter. That was so good! Victor meets the new head of S.H.I.E.L.D. and just instantly puts her in her place, in a way only Doctor Doom truly can. I like Sharon Carter, but that was just such a cool moment. <laughs> it's one of several points in the comic that remind me just how much this series has shown us Brian Michael Bendis really has a great handle on writing for Victor Von Doom. It's surprising given that he hasn't worked much with this character before, in particular not with the mainstream form. But it's all very clearly here. He's good at it, about as good as he is with writing Spider-Man, and that's really impressive. Meanwhile, I think Alex Maleev has finally gotten a strong sense of purpose in his artwork, and is really blending well with Bendis' writing after a rocky start in the first couple of issues. Otherwise, there's a few things to note here. So Maria's gone, this comic's kind of caught up with that stuff with Captain America, I guess. I can't say it really surprises me or is that interesting, it's all part of the ramp up towards Secret Empire anyways. And I also found the Riri thing kind of boring. I mean, S.H.I.E.L.D. and Tony aren't much of a challenge for Victor, so what hope does a rookie have? None is the answer. She has none hope. 
So whatever to that boring and predictable crossover stuff, what really surprised me and has me most interested was that weird flash of... something Doom saw during the fight with Wizard. What was that? I think it was some sort of creation by the Maker, because it kind of looks like something he'd build. Yet, in this issue, at least, Reed didn't seem to know anything about it, as neither he nor Cynthia knew what was going on with Doom in that moment. I don't quite recognize whatever this thing is supposed to be, either. I... am I missing something? I... I'm just really curious about it. Whatever it is, whatever's going on, it was unexpected and pretty cool. I like a good mystery or a hint of something bigger going on like this, so I found this part of the comic super interesting. All told, once again, Infamous Iron Man was really worked out as a solid series overall. A rough start has given way to a pretty well-done story about a long-standing character in the Marvel world making a genuine, heartfelt attempt at changing himself, while also letting Doom be the totally awesome character that he is. I enjoyed Infamous Iron Man number 6 and recommend you check it out for yourself. Let me know what you thought of this comic in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, check out our Patreon page to see how you can support Comic Island. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.